Women of Reddit. What are things men do that scares you but they don't realize? Liking every single picture with my face on Instagram in a period of like 2 minutes. When I was on dating sites I would get a message of it up yours. I would respond with something like what was that for? I know I shouldn't respond to those they would reply saying oh sorry don't know how that happened. How are you? If you do this to get attention of girls online please stop. You aren't doing yourself any favors. When I was in the service industry. Men flirting with me always made me really nervous. At that point. I was in a position where my whole job is to make the customer happy and that would often be very at odds with my personal sense of this guy is creepy and I want him to go away. When you're on the clock. You have to be nice to people. You can't just tell a guy who is making you uncomfortable to beep off nor can you just up and leave especially if you're manning the register. You have to sit there and take it and play nice. And hope to god that they don't wait for you to get off shift so they can harass you outside of work. I used to be a manager at a fast food place I was a male in my early 20s. And a lot of the employees we would have on the register or drive through were girls in their teens slash early 20s. There was a decent number of usually older men who would try to flirt with them or would say things that made them uncomfortable. Sometimes the girls would tell me about it after the fact. And I would ask them why they didn't mention it to me sooner so I could say something to the customer about it. Usually they would shrug it off or say they didn't think to say anything. But I'm sure a lot of the time they were trying to avoid the confrontation of them defending themselves to the customer directly or me saying something to the customer and having them insist they weren't doing anything wrong. Either way. It's really messed up to do that kind of stuff anytime. Let alone doing it to somebody while they're just trying to do their job. Random touching and prodding. Had some guys in school that would just come up and poke you in the sides. Freaked me the beep out. I was always an extremely quiet person. And our class clown kid pulled this beep all the time. Once he came up behind me in gym and pinched both sides of my waist. And because I'm jumpy as beep I legit let out a bloodcurdling horror movie scream that echoed in the gym so loudly that everyone stopped and looked. When I turned around to see what was happening he looked like he was about to speep his pants. And while he continued to do it to the other girls in our class he never came near me again. Girl in my grade 9 class like 15 years ago. I forget what subject it French. Had a guy do this to her. She said in a low. Almost monotone voice. Completely serious. The kind of serious voice where even if you whisper it. Everyone hears you. Name. If you do that again. I will beeping kill you. For a few seconds. The entire classroom went silent as it echoed. It took the male teacher a few seconds to figure out what just happened. Then sent the guy to the principal's office. I didn't see him until a week later. No one really bothered her again after that. At least not that I remember. He got a week suspension. Strangers complimenting me on my body really freaks me out. I also don't like people commenting on my hair. But that's because I'm ginger and I get a lot of sexualized comments. I once got fed up and asked someone to back off when they were doing this. Try to be polite but firm. He responded by graphically threatening to rape me and followed me for three blocks. Not the only time I've gotten that kind of reaction. When you say you have a beautiful figure. It's not a confidence boost. I'm not grateful. I'm thinking of the men who have this kind of reaction lurking just under the surface of that compliment and I'm wondering if I'm in a dangerous situation. Parking right next to my car in a dark and slash or empty car park. I've had this conversation with several girlfriends. But when I've mentioned it to men they had had no idea about what goes through our mind when we see that. Sitting next to you in an otherwise empty restaurant. Dude there are 20 empty tables. Why are up my ass? 
breaking or hitting things out of anger. Some people get so physically intimidating when they're angry, breaking things, shouting super loud, crowding you, etc. Then when you get scared or flinchy it sets them off more. Like it's somehow so outrageous that you're now afraid they might be violent towards you. Newsflash. All of the behaviors I just listed are violent. Abuse doesn't start and stop with hitting someone. Being near someone with explosive anger is terrifying. Regardless of if it's directed at you or the nearby furniture. This was my ex-husband. He would flip out screaming and throwing things. Then when I flinched away. He'd be furious and insulted that I could find him scary. God I'm glad I'm not in that relationship anymore. My ex was the same. He'd smash a hole in the drywall and then get even angrier if I got scared and slash or cried. He never did hit me. But why the beep wouldn't I be scared? It's not crazy to think if he'd punch walls that someday he'd punch me. Ugh. It took me years to deal with the PTSD from that marriage. When I say I don't like something. Like something he said or did or joked about and he says you secretly like it. That makes my skin crawl and alarm bells start going off. Don't tell women what they like. So I'm recently single over a month and so far I've had guy mates pop into my DMS being friendly but certainly pushy. A couple of these were asking random questions that started getting a little personal under the guise of friendliness. Here's one of those conversations. This was a very old friend that I have not spoken to or seen in 12 years. Due to friend groups growing up and growing apart. We weren't really close either. Just same friend group. Him, oh you're single now. I thought you guys were buying a house together me, yup. I broke it off. Him, I see you go walking. Where do you walk? Me, just around a few places. Nowhere specific. Him, do you still live at place? Me, no I moved from there 7 yrs ago. Him, oh really you moved. Where do you live now? Me, still with ex-partner until I move out soon. Him, oh where are you moving to? I lied here and named a large town nearby. Him, will you be living alone? Also lied that I'll have roommates. I get you're trying to have a friendly life catch up with me after 12 YRS. But there's an internal pressure to be nice despite me not being comfortable sharing certain information. Especially knowing that I may be alone soon. So I need to be careful with the things I share. Also adding. This guy has a serious long term GF. I've also had random guys insist on knowing my specific personal details even when I keep being vague and moving the conversation elsewhere. I live in so many fake places and attend so many fake colleges now. Like. Asking where someone goes to school is pretty normal. Insisting on being told the name of the school for the third time after multiple conversation diversions is unsettling. This happened to me on a flight years ago. I was in the window seat and a very drunk man sat in the middle seat. First he told me I was pretty. Then reached his hand into my seat to fasten his seat belt. Then started in on the questions. He insisted on knowing what city I lived in after I gave a vague answer of a city with many surrounding suburbs. Then said I'm not hitting on your or anything when I told him it didn't matter where I was from. Bless the kind man on the aisle who distracted him. Told him to leave me alone. Then waited with me to make sure I wasn't followed. X said he'd bust into my apartment out of concern for my safety if I didn't answer the door or his call slash texts he lived right next door. BTW. When I said that it's called breaking and entering and grounds for calling the police. He said it'd be pointless because the police were his friends and therefore wouldn't do anything. Translation. I can do anything I want and you can't stop me. So I call the police anyway and they made him stop. 
he began to fill my mailbox with love letters and saying if I continued to ignore him, he'd move. I did continue and he made a big production of moving out. I closed my curtains and ignored him. It's scary when a man thinks a woman is weak and can bully her and finds out differently. Hey guys, if you like this video then smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel for more contents like this. And don't forget to press that bell icon to get notified for future videos. Thanks for watching, click here to see more videos.